Hey guys, my name is Danny. My name is Vanessa and we are vlogging today. Today we are doing our first vlog. It's gonna be all about long distance relationships and why they suck. One of the questions that we probably get asked the most is how do you guys do it? You guys are in a long distance relationship, right? And uh, we've been in a relationship for four years now. I think that although it does suck and although it may be like a pain in the butt to try to figure out our both schedules, I think that there's always something that you can grab out of any situation that you're in. And I think that one of the biggest pros for us being in a long distance relationship has definitely had to be communication, being able to uh, work on our communication skills and solely relying on the fact that if we don't communicate then we can't really move forward or know that we're on the same page because we don't see each other so we have to rely on communication even though communication is key sometimes I feel like we don't always communicate as much as it does strengthen your, your communication skills but sometimes you can lack it. There's some days where we don't communicate and I think that that's where a lot of our arguments sometimes even come in because either he's busy, I'm busy and there's times where we don't get to talk. It just it gets harder um, and we've been doing this for four years and I don't think that it's gotten easier. I think that we've just gotten better at being able to balance each other out and balance our situation and our lives. So. Um, Sometimes I just want to kill him. Sometimes I want to kill this guy because he never answers his phone. And that is where communication lacks sometimes on his behalf. Because this guy, if you know him and you're one of his friends out there, you know that this guy never answers his calls, never texts his back, gets back to you hours later, and he doesn't only do that to his friends, but he does this to me. Biggest pet peeve for me. Biggest pet peeve. Oh well, um, so there you go. Her complaints about me, I think at some point you just gotta not care of people looking at you, right? There's so many people looking at us right now, it's so awkward. Everyone vlogs nowadays, so. What are people staring at? Everybody's vlogging. <laughs> we're just vlogging here. Everybody's just looking like we're weirdos. He doesn't care because he doesn't live here. I don't, I care. Get I don't live here. I live here. You can see I all know his, these people. These are all your people. <laughs> Woo hoo hoo! Are you embarrassed? Are you embarrassed? Oh God. We have a show to go to. Yes, so we're going to, what is it called? The Art Exhibit at the Bellagio. The Art Exhibit, it's brand new. It opened in November, 2018. Yeah. 2018, so we're gonna check it out and we're gonna take you guys on this journey with us. Cool? museum was awesome. It was pretty good. It was pretty dope. It was shorter than I thought. It was short. Listen guys, we paid 15 bucks per ticket. And it was and like it literally... Was, it was one room. For 45 seconds. You know, have you ever sat there and talked to an artist and they're just talking to you about this like magnificent piece of art and then you walk in there and it's this canvas with a red dot in it? <laughs> okay, that's how this place was. But you know, to his his own. For me, I like to have a little bit more of explosion, some fire, sparkles, some people jumping off of buildings, small things like that. I loved it. I think that if it would have been a little bit longer, I think it would have been way better. But the room with the lights is amazing, it's cute. Um, but yeah, I wish it was longer for sure. There's something good that comes out of long distance relationships. It gives us an opportunity to miss each other. Miss each other. And then always having in mind that it's not going to be a, a forever. forever. So I think that's a positive in long distance relationships. Um, communication first, and then also the ability to be able to miss each other and have 
in mind that it's not going to be forever. One thing that has helped us a lot is to set goals for each other. You personally set goals for yourself in your personal life, things you want to achieve, things you want to reach. But I think that as a, as a couple in a relationship, especially in a long distance relationship, it is important that we set goals for each other and what we want for our future. And I think that this long distance kind of makes us understand how much we want to be with each other. This wouldn't have worked for four years if we didn't really love each other and we weren't really willing to risk everything and willing to give everything for each other. And I think that um, we are here because of the love that we have for each other, the commitment. Um, and we understand that it is hard, but we also know that it is not a forever thing and that we are working to one day be together forever. There you have it, folks. What is that like? the second thing that we can say right about being in a long distance relationship um it's not easy for sure i don't think that no one ever painted it out to be easy and it's not for everyone i definitely think that it's not for everyone if i was to count the times that i've had to buy a flight like if man imagine like if we were to put together like the amount of money we've spent in flights oh yeah no. like yeah. it's a lot but we're just gonna buy a jet Continue to follow us throughout this journey today. We got yeah. a lot. We got, we got a, lot. a lot. There's so much to talk about. So we're excited to have you guys on this journey. And it's our first vlog. So like, subscribe, share comment, it. Comment, share. Comment, you know. Come <laughs> on. It's your first vlog. <laughs> See you guys later. try to distract myself by maybe going out with friends but sometimes it'll hit you sometimes it'll hit you really hard because when you see some of your friends like they go out on dates and every Thursday night to date night right or things like that and then you can't really do that you kind of have to plan and, and 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 that's that's the hard part sometimes because you wish that you could do it right like weekly and stuff like that but you just doesn't work that way in a long distance relationship. You actually have to plan them. You learn how to be a third wheeler, a fourth wheeler, a fifth wheeler, any kind of wheeler. You become really good at it. I've been like a 20th <laughs> wheeler. I think that that's 20th. the part where like it sucks, you know, because there's times where your friends are like, oh, I'm going on a date night, you know, or like, we're going to double date, and you're just like, well, what do I do, you know? So I think that. There's pros, there's cons to or long when, distance when, for sure. Or when you go to a restaurant and then they get a table for four and you're that one person on the edge uh -huh. and you're blocking everybody's way. <laughs> you're the extra bad. person. That's bad. All in all, to say that even though it is looked bad upon being in a long distance relationship, that it's really, uh, it's really just working together. If you both are on the same page, then you guys are gonna be okay. I think for me it's harder than him. I think because I show it more, he tries to distract himself, and I think that I'm not very good at that. I um, contemplate a lot on the thought of like him not being here. I overthink a lot, and so it's it becomes a little harder for me, for sure, and I think that a lot of the arguments are initiated by me. <laughs> That's the first time she's ever actually admitted that. It's true. So, I do. I initiate and it's be And it's recorded. <laughs> it, let, let's just we're pause. Being, we're being real, okay? Pause. I'm being real. She just said she's like 100% the reason for all our arguments. Okay, not all of our arguments, but like, you know, arguing about long distance and us missing each other. I'm always the one that initiates most of them. But this man loves me. that I hate the most because it's the part where you say goodbye and it sucks so much. The feeling of not knowing when you'll see each other again because you'll have to plan it again. So that is one of the horrible parts of it, but we'll see each other soon. Soon. Very soon. Thank you guys for watching. Um, this is our first one ever, so if it sucks, 
Please be nice. <laughs> Bye. Bye. On my way back home, guys, had to make a quick pit stop um, here in the Seven Magic Mountains. Over there. You can see, I was like, why not stop and take some random drone footage? So, here we are. How can I tell you what I wanna do? I never needed you to give me things. I never needed